Chop, 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 up to the time. Wow, go on, my people. Where they are getting the no money, they know, say, stepping with the style. In a style, style and style and style can spoil. So, you know, so where they are again, my people, big up on yourself. Make sure you now like and share and subscribe. You know the thing go. So, big up on yourself. We there. And give thanks for all of the, me see, uh, comments and the comment, um, and cutting edge. I wonder if me can pull up my phone real quick and fast and see the comment, my people. Cause you know the thing set. Yeah, man, I uptown TV, you know, you know, so we there. And we up close and personal, and you know how we do with things already, and all of these things, me people. God know. So yo, yeah, man. May I say yo, big up the people, em, you know, cause you know say people em always are the number one DJ four nine forty one official DJ forty nine forty nine forty one official. Six hours ago, you must say, oh, big respect to Muta and big up, big and big respect to Uptown TV. That's what I'm saying. So, may I say, James, James say, oh, Irie, Irie, Papa Muta Baruka reasoning show for the, uh, for the upload. <laughs> so, I love right this to me, people. God, no, yo. James again, you know. James say, uh, Yeah, man, getting you loud and clear. Yeah, man. From Kenya, you know. Kenya. Blood cleat all the way from Kenya. Massey land. Country Massey land. Yo, I be a things. People them love the vibes, man. Yeah, me I say no. Me I go adjust this 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 thing up on another day, no. Cause me really me give thanks for them comment here. Yo, people. Him say me go adjust chump business, so we are gonna see what I go on with that. Yes, people. Big up on yourself. All right. Yeah, man. Oh, well, like the intro a long dog. Me not tell no like the intro a long. The intro. <laughs> Let me stop it. Let me stop it. We're we'll going we'll to hear the program start. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Big up on yourself. Thanks to all of the new subscribers. Big up on yourself. Hello. Hot man. Trust me. Time I get hot and hot and hot. And then you more hear some rain just come down. Anyway, we're there with you. I'll go through the pieces until 5.45. We're bring you the news. So I hope you can stay with you. Glad you're going by. In stone. I don't know how much in a cent and but why well, I may tell you that I them say when it reach 32 degrees, that will be one of the hottest day in Jamaica. But up here 32 degrees, may I say I come up on the radar, you know, me don't understand that. The place I trust her. Uh, some things line up here. Yeah. You know, we will connect outside or connect enough outside plus. We want to talk about the appeal court ruling against the government about this lax thing we are going for much years now. Uh, the, 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 the government lose them case. I mean, have to say the government. And we also want to talk about the thiefing company with JPS, named JPS, which the government have the majority sharing again. And we want to talk about we are going in America. Some serious thing are going on in America. So, I don't think we'll talk about for the day and take some call and see if we can get feedback from the people. Them. But, you know, say, the music is the driving force. The music. John Legend and Bojo Bantan. <laughs> Bill Free Promotion, happening at Cords Ready Cash, King's Plaza, Contran Spring Road. Now over to Giovanni White. And yes, outside. man has a respect in a motor. Blessings to you, my brother. Good. Who's your... I don't know your brethren. He's a new person on the block. 
I always moot. I always moot. But, you know, it's a blessing, you know, my brother, to be here, still yeah. here in King's Plaza, partying with DJ College and we are shake up the ground as per usual. But we're also with the Quartz family. Quartz Ready Cash. Live bill free for six months, up to six months. And so if my maths is doing correctly, you know, six months for 600,000 sounds like 100,000 per month. That sound about right? That sound correct. All right. Okay, so that's not that bad. But I also want to speak on a bit more of the promotions, other stuff that you you know guys have, because I have the liberty of you know being in the office and I'm seeing other stuff that it is that you are, you know, giving out. So we want to also speak on or give a shout out to persons who are interested for health checks and medical expenses. We have a loan for that and it's hassle free just the same. We also the, that loan apparently goes up to a $1.5 million. So come on down to Courts Ready Cash. We also have loans for up to $1.2 million for those who have you know interested in home renovation just the same. And Courts for those who are a part of the family. We They also have a promotion where you get $5,000 cash back if you mention something someone to the court's family. We're, 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 we're helping with loans and we're giving you a little cash in your pocket just the same. But we're going to expound a little bit more on the promotion why we're here today. And that's the live bill free up to six months. And we have Karen back with us once more just to, you know, dive a little bit more and remind for those who are just joining us, of course, you know, what was happening here today and what will happen going forward. Thank you, Gio. So before I even get into our campaign just now, I just wanted to share with you what you, a little bit more about what you spoke about a while ago. So just to let people know, a lot of people are of the impression that Courts Ready Cash is where you get money to go to shop at Courts. That is not the case. So what you do is you get money to do anything in life. So what, what you saw just a while ago, speaking about medical bills, talking about home renovations, you pretty much can use $1.5 million that you get through Courts Ready Cash to do every, anything, any and everything. So if you want to use it to do a staycation, a vacation, you want to use it to, to do something mechanically on your car, you want to use it for a business, you decide. So it's collateral free, it's security free, guarantor free. So I share that and bring you into. So what we were talking about today and we continue to talk about in our 45 locations across Jamaica is the fact that you can live bill free for six months with courts ready cash. Just take a loan of $80,000 or more on 18 to 36 months. So you have up to three years to pay for that, irrespective of how much you take the loan for. And you have an opportunity to win those six months bill free valid at $600,000. Three months, which is the second prize, value at 300000 And then one month, value at 100000 And of course, the weekly pri prize is that lead up, which is 500000 Most importantly, not everybody can come to a store. If it is that you can't, visit our social media page, Courts Ready Cash. We're on IG, we're on Facebook. We're dabbling a little TikTok here and there, right? But outside of that, we have a website, www.courtsreadycash.com, where you can visit us, you can apply online, you don't have to come in branch, and you still via, you still get the chance to win. And you continue to just do business with us, and we continue to give you rewards. And so, to speak on a little bit more on what happened um, throughout the process of it today, we had one of our listeners came, came on down, Mr. Neil Stewart. We well, you know, have to give him a shout out because he heard us right here on, 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 on air and came on down. You know, so we big up to Mr. Stewart, protection on the road. And so, give me your feedback based on the promotion and what's happened today. How do how do how do you how do you feel about the um, eternal? Well, first of all, it was an exciting start for us. I believe the fact that we're we're, we're set up on a day that we don't have burial right it's hot sun it's good weather we have people that are passing we smack in the middle of half a tree if you ask me we're at king's plaza it was a good look we had our promo reps in the street if you saw them if you saw the neon color shirts it was us it was courts ready cash we were here we were having the conversations but more than anything else you touched on something that I shared with many persons that I believe is the soul of today. The fact that I could see a gentleman who has no feet, who is driving a car, who came by to say, I heard you on air. How can I get this? This gentleman came, he's self-employed, he has no salary slips. And what he did was he come and showed us that he had receipts for goods he buys. He has receipts for goods that he, sell, he sold back and he has receipts that he gave his customers. And we were able to look on those receipts and say, you know, the man can get X. 
And I was even happy because what he asked for, I understood that in less than an hour, we were here. Our credit team was able to say to him at North, I didn't say 24 hours, in less than an hour, they could say he can get five times the amount of what he was asking for. And that gentleman had already sit in the front seat of his car, complete the process, and then left feeling satisfied that he had an approval. And that's a big deal for us. Being able to help people financially, and we're not talking about in their personal life alone, but big up the hustlers, right? Big up the hustlers. We're able to help him and other people. Absolutely, absolutely. And I can tell you, I hear from no listeners, no, I don't tell a lie. I, I, I witnessed it all, and we just want to say a big shout out to your customer service team and the entire t- team, of course, you know, handling that the way you did. You know, so we, we, we have to, to, to give real encouraging words to team, for team members who are, you know, able to go above and beyond. And so I want you to also give us a recap on how to enter the promotion. Okay. Before I give the recap, can I please just big up you guys? So IRFM, you're always on board with us. You were there for the last campaign. You come out strong. You come out heavy. Chivalry was there, right? You escorted me everywhere. So it was a good day. Just bigging you guys up, bigging up the team. Lance and the team, they have been working the event. They're here at King's Plaza. They're ready to serve you. Everybody else in the 45 locations across, across Jamaica is ready to serve. But more than anything else, we have our peak team like Marketing Plus who is on board. We have Vantage who is on board who have supported us throughout the course of the day. We have Collision. And most importantly, guys, just to remind you, come on down to our, any of our stores any day of the week except Sunday. Right, we're available to have the conversation with your visit online. If you take a, a loan of eighty thousand dollars or more between now and August 18th, you have a chance to win the rest of the year into January, bill free, bill free up to one hundred thousand dollars. That's you don't have to look on your bills, and you're able to also get small prizes and giveaways. Enjoy your summer too. We're telling people come on to our social media pages, you don't have to be a customer engage with our social media pages and you have the chance to win some best tickets, movie tickets. We're talking about... You don't need a better representative than Mrs. Kerry. Plaza, Conference Spring Road. Yes. A new time, you know. New time. Annette and Signorina Raymond, who have been blocked from entering their place of employment at King's House since October 2021, are to have a first hearing in the Supreme Court on September 18. The office attendants have been hindered from going to work due to their reported failure to provide COVID-19 test results. Additionally, Raymond did not provide a medical report, giving reasons for her failure to take the vaccine. Both workers filed lawsuits in March this year, contending that their constitutional rights are being breached. Marsh Bennett and Raymond, who have not received any salaries since April 2022, to say they are suffering financial hardships. They also claim that they have not been informed by the Public Service Commission nor the Governor General that they were no longer employed as public officers. The Attorney General is the defendant in the claim in which Marsh, Bennett and Raymond are seeking several declarations. Attorney at law Hugh Wildman has been instructed by the Jamaica Civil Service Association to represent the women. The National Works Agency, NWA, has been instructed to take immediate steps to assess the Alley Bridge in Clarendon. Works Minister Robert Morgan has requested a report on the state of the bridge given the impact on the southern section of Clarendon. The Alley Bridge, which links Lionel Town to southern communities such as Racecourse, Kemp's Hill and Banks, was one of the structures damaged during the passage to, of Hurricane Beryl. The NWA says it has been instructed to assess the nature of the damage, determine a short-term fix, including costs, as well as to propose a permanent solution for the repairing of damage to the bridge. In news overseas, the walls appear to be closing in on United States President Joe Biden as calls for him to quit the presidential race increase. According to U.S. media, former President Barack Obama has privately expressed concerns to Democrats about Biden's candidacy. They also report that Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi privately warned Biden that Democrats could lose the ability to seize control in the House if he did not step away from the race. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, the Republican National Convention culminates today with former President Donald Trump expected to accept the party's presidential nomination. Finally, protesters set fire to the headquarters of the state broadcaster in Bangladesh on Thursday as violent clashes between students and police continue. It comes as the country was reported to be in the midst of a near-total internet blackout. A post on the broadcaster's official Facebook page warned that many were trapped inside the building in Dhaka as it appealed for help from the fire service. Prime Minister Sheikh Hassini had appeared on the network night before, appealing for calm after days of violent protests, which have left at least 17 people dead and hundreds injured. Students have been holding rallies, demanding change to a system which reserves a third of public sector jobs for the relatives of veterans of the country's war for independence from Pakistan in 1971. The students who argue that the system is discriminatory, discriminatory are asking for recruitment based on merit. Those were the local and international Headlines. Major news is next at 5:45 from the Area FM newsroom. I'm Maisha Brody. Yo, people, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. You know, you know the thing go. One of them thing there. So big up everybody where they are, and big up everybody who are tuning in. You don't know where are dealing with the thing in a real time. So you know the thing go already. So. Yeah, just like and share and subscribe. I don't know. Riley, a tribute to Morgan Heritage. Well, not Morgan Heritage. Peter Morgan. Here we go. Tribute to Peter Morgan. Congratulations to all of today's winners. Join us again at 5 p.m. for another chance to win in top draw dollars. Pick two, pick three, pick four, hard pick. And cash pot draws. We was playing this tune. We connect to Katrina Stadium in Montego Bay. We have um, Shamara Preston out there. Shamara, you do? Shamara? No, Shamara. <laughs> do certain things out there, you know, take them. I go question that. It's got the marks that, you know. Because some man do some weird things out there and them just live all long. And you have some man who are try them best to do the right thing and them just gone. Weird, man. Weird. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Shamar not ready for yet. So we're going to go and play some tune. This tune, them just send that tune and come give me. You know, who want to heal up? Dan, <laughs> who want to heal up? Glenn Brody, you know. <laughs> come send that to Brody. Who are you, Glenn Brody? Glenn Brody produced a song years ago from a, uh, what do you call it, a documentary named Life and Death. Life and Death by a, a lady named Black. She used to produce Simply Moot upon CVM when we used to do them thing there. She produced, Stephanie Black produced this and Life and Death. Produced by Glenn Brown. Here go. It's a version, double version, really. I am doing quite okay. What you doing in the sunlight, long less or no? Them start well, something long less. Well, well, it's not necessarily sunlight, but we're having a blast here at the Jamaica Rum Festival. It's the fifth staging of Jamaica Rum Festival, and the Rum Festival has decided this year to partner with Reggae Sumfest. So today is actually the day when we have two events one day. And I'm joined by Mr. Dominic Bell. He's the communications manager at Jerry and Nephew. Hi, Mr. Bell. Welcome to the Airways of IRFM. Hi, thanks for having me and good afternoon to your listeners. All right. So let's get right into it. Talk to us about this partnership, a really unique partnership talk to us about the idea behind it. Yes, so for our fifth stage you know, of Appleton Estate Jamaica Rome Festival, we decided to partner with Team Downsound Entertainment, who as you know are the promoters of Reggae Sumfest because we wanted to elevate the consumer experience when it comes down to entertainment even more. Because as you know, this festival is steeped in you know, the history, the heritage and the craftsmanship of Jamaican spirits. So we wanted to double down on our focus there and have a partner who, as you know, their day, their day in, day out is that of live entertainment. All right. So persons coming to the Rum Festival today, what can they expect? 
first of all, they can expect in addition um, in addition to what I just uh, mentioned, that of you know sample cocktails, games, activities, um, you know a food court, everything speaking to food pairing because it's a it's a gastronomy type of event as well. So we look at what are the you know the rum and food pairings that persons would like, and then outside of that. So this is now the afternoon into evening proceedings. And then after we're going to the live performances where we have Biedemann performing as Moses Davis and he'll be backed by a dance hall orchestra. Okay. So that's yes. something to look forward to. And um, what do you have on special here today? Anything special? Well, well, first of all, you're getting two events for the price of one. All right. Because in addition to the Appleton Stage American Festival, which will consist of rum education, the rum seminars and then the live performances by not only Moses Davis, but the New Wave Reggae Revival mm-hmm. Collective. So think of Joe BJ, Friday Night Crew, Amanye, Ayatosh, who is a producer of you know a myriad of hits for you know yeah. coffee and protege alike. He's now you know becoming an artist of his own. So we have reggae, we have dance all with a twist. Right, and then I we'll, like that. Yep, and I then like we'll go that. into the Blitz, yeah, where you know Team Reggae Some Fest. They would have you know Wild Shafai of the award-winning Major Lazer. He'll be performing alongside DJ Ashile, who, as you know, is a Western Jamaica yeah. hometown hero. And we have Brush One and the Franco to also add a bit of Afrobeats and Soca. I must also well. include in that that Ashile is one of Area FM's DJ. Yeah. yeah, so we must talk about that. What can we expect from Jerry and Nephew in the coming months? Okay, so what it is is that outside of being, you know, the lead brand for Appleton Estate Jamaica Grand Festival, the leading brand, meaning we have Appleton Estate and Ray and Nephew. For this Sunfest week, we actually have Magnum Tonic Wine, mm-hmm. who would have powered the street dance, the sound clash, and, you know, pouring Festival Night 1 as well. And then we have Ray and the Nephew, of course, who's doing Festival Night 2, you know, which speaks more to roots rock reggae with a bit of R&B with Babyface. All right. So loving that. Any final words for our listeners? I I, will, I always tell persons, you know, have fun, but be safe. And, of course, drink responsibly. We have hydration stations and detox sections alike. I love that. And that's a good way to end. Yes. So thank you for having us, Mr. Yeah. Bell. And, and we're for looking me. forward to maybe speaking with you a little mo- later oh, and for looking sure. forward to enjoying the festival. Yes, thanks again. All the best. All right. So, Muta, I'm throwing it back to you in studio. And yeah. I can tell our, our listeners that, you know, they're in for a treat once they get here. So make your way down to the Catrinal Multipurpose Stadium. As I said earlier this week, you know, um, all the events except the all-white event has been held here. So come on down, you know, enjoy your rum, your cocktails, whatever you're into, and just be responsible. Yeah, I'm going to ask you something. Who in the mm-hmm. clash last night? Listen, Amuta, it was the lady. So we had... The, the, um, the lady from India? Uh, where she come from? No, she, no she's a Japanese. Oh, I mean, Japan, so, but, the Japanese but ever Marie. <laughs> yes, so she walked away with the trophy. You know, yeah, she, 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 the trophy, she um was paired with her husband. The, the, the yeah. sound is notorious and bodyguard was second. So yeah. it was overall a very good clash. Muta, no, I must there, also... Mm-hmm. Look at her. This is the Japanese them mm-hmm. from Crown. Where them name, where them name again? The Crown, mighty one, crown. Mighty crown mm-hmm. To this bridge, in, uh, you have a tall Japanese bridge in there. Mm-hmm. And I like to say, she, the Japanese, they are mighty crown clash. May I tell you, man? Yeah, Not man, it was, it was, it is one for the books. It was one for the books. Yeah. Really, really exciting. And later on in music news, we'll, we'll give you more on that. So where is Sudanese there? Where, where is he there? He came, he came fourth. No, we can't work with fourth. Is he the first? <laughs> the first. But Mota, all right. Look, so look, we, look. we have Code Red, who was fifth. No, um, look, Dynamic look, fourth. Look, look, look Warrior Stone from Germany was third. Bodyguard second and Notorious with Bad Girl Marie walking away. And me is a woman. I'm a love the fact that a woman come and she win. She dominate the space. So no, who me, does me, to her? No, me love that. But when I say, we not count fourth and fifth. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Mota. No, we are count fourth. Mota. Somebody will run a yacht at they five entered. people that have and somebody come five. Where you count them from? We have to count them out because they go up there and them work. It's not easy, you know, and he did, <laughs> he did well. He did well. Well, I will tell you. The, and, I, and, you know, he, well, later in music news, as I said, we'll talk more about it, but I'm throwing it back to you in studio until we link again at 3.35. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> the that is, we will tell you, dynamic, so you have to go pack up now because you see you lose. At two times you see you lose now. 
two times you lose. You, 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 you get up on the arm. Um, I'm back him all the way, you know. I'm back him all the way, you know. And the man go up on the boat and lose the, the, the thing, you know. And, <laughs> anyway, I said, go. I want to see that tall bridge. I can't remember his name, you know. That tall Japanese bridge in that, that Japanese lady, you know, and mighty crown. I wonder if anybody, a bull puss. I want a bull puss to listen to me. Go and go tell Damien Marley. We put them three sound systems up on the boat this year. Cause that terrible thing that. All right, we're going to go for the news. Sorry, not news. We're going to take a break and come forward. 15 minutes past three o'clock. We're call up bull puss, you know. Anybody know bull puss? Tell him some motor baruka shout him. I mean, I want you on the radio, but we are telling you, say, you have three Japanese there. Three Japanese. Hey, you know, say, I go to Japan and I have a friend. Why well, you love Ivan, you know? First Jamaican I know write a Japanese book, like a dictionary. <laughs> but we go to one club and we stand up in the club and I look, you know, and you see, when we see the some women are coming, some Japanese women are coming. Believe you me, the only reason why you just know, say, I know Jamaica, I can't you know, say, they take a plane and come over there. The woman, them dress, I mean, you know, a, a panty, they have on, you know, you got about shorts on, you so. The woman, them have on some silk panty and some, some purple here and pink here and, I come in at the dance, like you see when they start to dance. You swear, say, <laughs> you swear, say, I jump here, can you there? I tell you, them Japanese people, they, them no easy. Japanese people, them no easy. Trust me. I you know the weirdest thing? Jump here, can you know the difference between Chinese and Japanese, you know? And when you look at a Japanese, that say, it's a Chinese man, that in Bex, in Bex, so you call them Chinese, you know? Cause them no like China more than so a Japan, that's from a Japan. But three Japanese set right now. Plus, remember the Japanese when they doing dance hall queen? Who remember the Amobile? The Japanese girl did win the dance hall queen. Them no easy. Me I tell you, them no easy. Okay, so before we can play the tune, we could play this one here. Yeah. We'll have played Life and Let Remix again. Yes, that I named Stephanie Black with that documentary about Jamaica and the turmoil where Jamaica was in during the manly era. Not fault as is, but the, what we call it now, the sabotage of the economy by outside forces, break up a whole heap of things, mash up a whole heap of things in a Jamaica, shot, list of food and all them things there. It's a good documentary for watch about at the time when them new Siaga and Manley was neck and neck like Joe Biden and, and, um, uh, and Donald Trump, I tell you. So, you know, say, I will tell you. Music up there. She ain't no, I know she ain't no there. Nobody in answer. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I mean, that's the studio. All right. Anyway, the government, the representative of the government, yes. Hello? All right. The representative of the government. While driving through Jamaica, there's only one radio station wow. I listen to. Iria FM. Iria FM. Iria FM. Iria you not hear me? What is happening? Yes. All right. So the government take the side at the, at the school because where them says that where the school has says that they have had problems with locks, with Jonjo and lies. Jonjo and lies. And they represent the government side, say yes. So them deny the little girl to go to school on the basis that she have to cut off her ear. 
Well, it, they are court, they are court, and they are court, and go to the appeals court. And the appeal court ruled against the government and says unconstitution, at, you know, unconstitutional, unconstitutional for really prevent anybody from going to school because them lapse. No, that is a big blow to the government, this government especially, because this government have a history of anti-Rasta sentiments. Them don't like Rasta. They might go on, so, but them don't like Rasta. From the 1950s, Pinnacle, when Leonard Owl set up him things up a pinnacle, Bustamante marched down the whole place and them have to disperse into place like back a wall and back to an empty there. And then Siaga come and march it down and build up one garrison named Tivoli Gardens where him control the whole of life him control that the place there. Tivoli Gardens. Busta again of the Coral Garden incident where they promised to trim all rest of them and lock them up and even carry them to a Bog Hill, which is a cemetery. Same PNP, same sorry, same JLP government. And from that time until now, it's like a, it's like a tussle between that government and Rasta, that government and Rasta. I will see now over the years they have been against lax. They're against lax. You have parliament here and no in a parliament with lax. I don't know if them people, eh, if anybody in a parliament sit down beside them. I don't know if anybody sit down beside them. I think one was from JLP and one was from PNP inside. So if you know, we know, say them are no Rasta. But you don't have to be a Rasta to have a dreadlocks. I now go say like Morgan Harrison say, you don't have to dread to be a Rasta. I say, you don't have to, la- you don't have to be a Rasta to, to have like dreadlocks because locks is a cultural expression of African people. Locks is a cultural expression of African people. So when them deny Black youth from go to school because them parents say, all right, they're going to wear them here this way as a, as a mark of cultural expression because the lax is the most visible expression of Rastafari culture. And people know all over the world, people all over the world now can be seen with wearing lax, even upon CNN, BBC, all of them places were totally just conservative in a certain way. We see them have lots of people that work with them. Oh dear, a teacher. And you see most of them teachers there eh? are some Christian woman them, you know. Check it out. Most of them are some Christian woman. And the government of Jamaica insists on continuously persecute Rasta for ganja and for the lapse. And we see what happened all over the world when Bob Marley stand up on a, upon, upon a stage and flash him lapse in front of 100,000 people in Italy. Italy. Bob Marley do a concert in Italy and draw one, without an opening act. 100,000 people. Never had no time, I'm a flash him lap, said we. And I live to say, you know, the Jamaica tourist board, well, I don't remember which one we're going at. And we see a big poster of Bob Mal with old Tom on, and a split in my mouth. The two things them that are bore all of these people, them can't take away for that. So, the appeal court said, look here, stop persecuting the rest of them. And anybody who wear them ear that way. Because I remember, say, 
Look, you couldn't go to school in a, in a, in a, I would think a woman's. Me love a woman named Miss Pinto there where. You can't go to school with no Afro. Anything where black people, we identify black people culturally, is a no no. White supremacy tear it down. And these little Negroes, both enslave them, follow suit. No Afro. They will say Afro come and make a big spur and thing. No locks. Persecution of Rasta with locks. So now they will persecute everybody, whether you are Rasta or not. The locks is a no no. Yet still the Indian and the Chinese can go to school with them ear long long on them shoulder. Or the woman them who are teacher burn up them head, cream them ear. And all these things will come out of school. Danger to themselves, even though some of them don't even know it. So, what is the next move now? What is the next move? Are we going to still hear every time school have a open that Rasta picnic can go to school because you have some defiant? Me think so with gone through the border there, you know. Me think so with gone over that. Come never know said this government is supposed to be this progressive government. Progressive government have rest our court because they don't like locks. I talk about John George. Which part John George? Which part John George there? Maybe I show them so like all female locks and all tick up and clog up. It look like John George to them. They don't like locks. Them, them so-called teacher, they who embedded in them Christian mindset. Them not like locks. And the government don't like it neither. Them still live in a little passing where it's an embarrassment. Embarrassment. It can't be an embarrassment again. You go to Europe. You go all over the world. Did you know that locks? It's not indigenous to Jamaica. It's not indigenous to Jamaica. There are some people named the, in, a, um, in a India. Them wear locks, and them don't see Rasta yet. They don't know when they Rasta. What is for them? The Sadhus. They don't know about Rasta and them locks. And now we there so in a Kenya during the 1950s when them did have the Mama uprising. A whole of the Mama you them did laps. That is all that is all Jamaican all the side emperor Lassie. Can you have some people in Ethiopia lap them the barter with them laps? If you look, you have a picture Ilis Lassie. Well, young, 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 stand up beside him, father. It's a lax. Young, young, young. I don't remember. I must have been eight. Eight year old. And you have dreadlocks walk up and down in a Ethiopia. Live up in the mountains and come down, come blast everybody. Carry bring down judgment for everybody. All the emperor, they bring down judgment for. So lax is so, you have in a Nigeria. There's a famous picture by a bridge, you know, uh, Rasta bridge named Daniel Hartman. Daniel Hartman paint a Nigerian youth. Locks and him say, if you make that little youth vex, the life of jail or death, you must make a youth get vexed. Him locks. Famous, famous drawing by Daniel Hartman. And we there saw so, still a fair. Go to an Abab and weave with this, these people, these little bosses slavery around the country. I thought, but you can't go to school with luck because John Joe. What kind of madness is that? What kind of madness is that? Anyway, we're going to come forward to this. We're going to go, 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 Say something. Mota, this is Nicholas this time. Shamar, I was feeling in. 
<laughs> you know Shamara can't drink stuff and a rum I can't Shamara. Shamara I, I, I drink I drink rum. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Time, you, know so you know you know I can't Shamara. Shamara drink water. You know, so uh, from a from a rum they must send somebody who can drink rum. So, so are, are you are you are you drink the rum or are you drink half the rum? Yeah, me I drink half the rum. I'm right now a white overproof me I deal with. So, so yeah, I walk I walk come back at town. I'm not coming back to town to them. I can't drink so much rum and come back to town. The same place as where I sleep today. Okay. But make sure that you're drinking responsibly still. We're drinking responsibly. Yeah, nah, we drink rum responsibly. and water, Wait, nah, rum and water, rum and water. And we're eating at the same time. So, you know, we're, we're ensure it, ensuring we don't get too intoxicated. Every you know? drunkard say that. I am not a drunkard. I'm a drinker. <laughs> Every drunkard say that. But I why am I not drink a responsible? Drink responsibly. I'm drinking responsibly. Because you see my book up your bed for the world. Eh? No, anyway, we are going down there. Yes, we are here at um the, the, the Rum Festival. It's the fifth annual. And this year, uh, they're partnering with um Reggae Sound Fest. And, and, and trust me, it's a good vibe. It's, a, it's, it's the whole decor, everything to see um is just really, really a, a, a good vibe. Right now, we're having some showers of blessing. But that is in no way, shape or form, dampering the spirit. People are coming in. Boats look good, same way, and everything just look nice. I'm um, um, for Rum Festival, and of course, later on, it, it, it's going to be the place. But um, right now, I'm being joined by Kerry and Brian, and she's the brand manager for Ray and Nevio. And of course, we talk about Ray and Nevio white rum, and we're drinking rum with water, right, Kerry? <laughs> right, Nicholas. <laughs> How are you doing? I, I'm good, I'm good. I mean, um, despite the weather and all of that, I'm, 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 I'm very good, yes. Um, so. And of course, you know, just tell us a bit about this partnership um, with White Overproof Rum and, and, and some fest. Yes, man. So we're here at the Rum Festival. We're one of the main sponsors here. And we just want to ensure that, you know, patrons still come out. We're having showers of blessings and so nevertheless still come out. We have lots of prizes and surprises for you at our booth. So Johnny Daly, he's actually our host at our booth. We have various um, activations. We have a boxing game where you can win T-shirt, you can win jersey, you can win crossbody bag, um, you can win a tumbler, like a mug to have your drinks responsibly. Your uh, and I, I your can invite drink. them to IRFM social media page because I know the one you're drinking from yes. will soon be uploaded. I saw Tristan <laughs> taking a picture and I'm sure yes. everybody would want one of this today. Everybody would want one for sure. And you're telling us about telling us about all the goodies. I mean, um, what are some of the other goodies? Um, you have? Yes, man. So we have tumblers, we have crossbody bags. So at our booth, we also have cocktail sampling. So Tropical Redeems, they're here. They're our food sponsor. And they partnered with us to do a cocktail. So right now we have Red Hot Summer, which features the, um, I think it's the Reggae Medley Tropical Redeems with the Ray and Nephew White Overproof Rum. So you can come to our booth and get a sample of that. We also have our Rhythm and Ray Rum Punch. So that's also a collaboration with Tropical Redeem. So you can come to our booth and try these cocktails. We also have food at our booth. So you can come to our booth and get some Akian saltfish, some Kalaloo, some Bami sticks, you know, and quench your epi- appetite, so to speak. I, I told more time, so it's not only rum we drink, you know, we're going to eat food and everything. Food too. So and, yes. I want to ask, I mean, you mentioned the sampling. So after I sample this mm-hmm. and it tastes so good, I can't resist. Yes. Do I continue to sample or I can get it to buy? You can get it to buy at the food court also. You can can also continue to sample, but we also have a food court where if you want a bigger, um, full belly meal, of course, you can. Now we're talking about the, the full belly drink. Yes, yes, and the full belly drink too. We do have our sale bars here where you can come and get your full cocktail. So once you sample at our booth, if you like it, you go over to the main bar and you can purchase a full cocktail. All right. So, what 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 would you want to say to patrons listening right now across Montego Bay, uh, even across the, the 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 border over there in Hanover and Trelawney? What would you want to say to patrons right now? Because it's now um, basically going up to four o'clock. Yes. Is there time for them to be put on them clothes or just draw them clothes and come they down? Have a lot of time to come. 
all about the things happening. You can come on down here. If you're a schoolman, you can just sample, 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 <laughs> and don't stop sample. If you are somebody who like to spend your own money from out your own pocket, ah. you can buy the bigger cup and drink. And just have a good time. Which, um, trust me, when you come, you need to visit the Ray and Nephew booth because you'll get Aki and Selfish with your rum and everything. Yeah. Trust me, you don't want to miss this event right now. It's an event you want to be at so that everybody who know you across the world will see you on Facebook at this event and everywhere you post yourself, IG, Twitter, everywhere um, um for uh, well X, anywhere you 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 would you would post. Trust me, you want to say I was there. So that's the situation here right now, Muta. I can't tell you the next time we'll link because, you know, everything kind of changed. The rain, yeah, the rain yeah. not only changed the weather, it, 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 it changed everything else. So yeah. we, 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 we played. Yeah. Are the Elon Musk thing I use on the now? Yes. Eh, maybe that's why we are cut out of the routine. It's not take up the satellite. Well, well, um, we, 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 we don't know what's happening, but yeah, the, it's really, really overcast. You look up, it, it's, it's really dark. We're not seeing much blue. So, so, so we can't, you can't pick up no satellite. Uh, well, if we didn't pick up any, we wouldn't be talking, but I mean, you know, as a, as a thick cloud pass, you might have a little challenge. Challenge, but yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, but the, 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 you know, we're feeling good. It's a good vibe seeing me because yeah, yeah, while, yeah. while we're having challenges with, I must tell you, it's not really raining right now. It's just really, really overcast. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah. just moving around and enjoying themselves seeing me. So wherever you are. Come on down. I mean, between the liquor rain drops and all of that, there's still enough fun and excitement for you to really have a good time going home this evening. Yes, well, you can walk between the drops, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, man, I, I've been doing that. I'm not as wet as Shamara. I'm not as wet as Shamara. That's why we don't say you, 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 you're talking about drink. Pals, pals, drink Shamara roll up all our pants foot and all of that. So, I mean, um, if you are walking between the drops, you know, sir, jump, yeah, man, I've been doing that. A jump, no, no, a no, no, no. We walk in between the drops. We're not drunk. <laughs> all right, sir. Later. Yeah, man, later. Okay. Yeah, man. Outside broadcast. Shamara. <laughs> <laughs> the cat thought of things, you know. If you don't say joke, you know. All right. Anyway, we want to go forward. Five minutes to four, you know. We want to go forward to where we let her out with this lax thing, uh, where we take it serious. And we don't like talk on behalf of the, the Rastafari community, but we talk right now on behalf of the Rastafari community, say, we, the Rastafari community, take it serious that after how long now, eight, eight years, eight years it's a go on for. Eight years. And if the appeal court, the appeal court decides, say, watch out, enough is enough, you know, you know. Low the people then forgot school. We, we, we locked off with it. I know the weirdest thing about it, because I want have something must be wrong with my head. Listen now. The first time it happened, the teacher them say the people them the, the peers never tell them say them is Rasta. In other words, if them didn't know say was a, them was Rasta, otherwise them come them come after and say them is Nazarene, you know. But them say if them didn't know say them is Rasta, them wouldn't hang the case away there. Well, may I ask them something now? That not sound like fool fool something. If you say the, the locks contribute to lies and John join at the school. So what will prevent the Rasta them, because them, them declare to them is Rasta, what would prevent them from coming to school and have John John here and lies in them head? Not the same locks. Is the locks you're afraid of or is Rasta? Or is, I mean, I don't understand it. Because how can you say them never tell you say them is rather not a religious thing? So, so black people can't wear them ears as a cultural expression of them themselves. Them have to be a religion. They have to be a religion. For, for, and if it was a religion, it means say what? It means say if you have if you have John in your ear and locks in your ear, it, okay, because he's a religious person. How would them idiot be? How would them take people for? How would them take people for? And then the government to back them. The government to back them, Rasta. How that, how, how that possible? After them know them carry through from the 50s come right up. Leonard Owil. You know what time they carry Leonard Owil go to jail? 
go a Bal Bellevue. You know, say, them used to cut off people locks when them go to prison. A, 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 Michael Land, the Gwaj prison, and a, a Bert Samuels win the case that no cutting off him locks. I know an average long, long and mobile with Gwaj and couldn't them never cut off him locks. But that's the first thing they attack. The first thing they attack. When them take the African, them to carry them on and so. When them lock them up, the first thing them attack is shave off them ear. First thing them attack is shave off them ear. A pure ball had come over here, so. And then them start to find themselves and I realize, uh, wait, them something about the ear, them, them can't take the ear. Why did them have the woman them now? I do them ear all kind of thing and a cream press perm, this, that, and that, and that. Because, you know, the African, them used to carry message in them ear. You know, they know that? Them used to carry message in them ear. The old, between the old slave and the field slave. If you go to Africa, you have certain places in Nigeria, depending on how you wrap your ear, the woman, how she wrap her ear, them can tell you the status of that woman. If she belong to a certain order, if she married to a king, if she married to a priest or a oba, them tie them in a certain way. How you can look on her ear and say to that woman, that woman is a married woman. Don't try to go, go, go talk to her in a funny way. So all of those things was things was very scientific in the culture. Very scientific that you can look on a woman and tell her status. And when we come on, I saw the woman, them used to do them here in a certain style. That them do have to say nothing when they go in the field. Eh? Well, I mean, Ella talked to me or somebody talked to me. <laughs> I break, take a break. A break, there. The slave plantation. You didn't have a house, you have the old slave and the field slave. And most of the women them used to work in the house. And the rebellion them used to organize in the field. Now, in order for the old slave, send message to the field slave. For instance, suppose the master now go there in the day. I suppose the master go have some big people over, over for dinner and them something. The, the old slave... The woman used to plot her ear, her can her ear, a certain way. That when she go in the field, she go gay, the slave them, the field slave food. She don't have to say none to them. Them just look on her ear and know what went to take place in the house. That is why them did ban can roll. Them did ban it, just like how them ban the drum. White people ban all oh, black people to them ear because them realize that eh, the drum, you have a drum named the talking drum. And my experience is something I read about. You go to Nigeria and a man play something for him talking drum. He put the drum on and eat him arm and play. And him tell you what I'm going to say with the drum. And him don't make the man over there so here. And when him play, him say, him, him ask the man what him say. And the same thing when him tell me, say, him say, the man, the man know what him say with the drums. Him call it the talking drum. The talking drum was banned in the slave plantation because they realized, eh, how come these people are not saying no meal and nobody are run with no bag with no meal and they know exactly where they are going from the plantation to the next plantation. Just like how the Native American them use smoke, smoke signal. When them see the smoke signal, they know what is what. White man don't know what is what when them see the smoke signal. Well, I see where the African them use them drum. And the can roar, the woman ear can roar. That is why them you now you see woman press out them ear, and them have all sort of thing in it. I know them have all extension in it. And as black people mostly do that to themselves, so them lose touch with the energy, the natural energy where them supposed to have, where can liberate themselves. So when them now tell you say no locks because Jonjo. And lies and all them something there.
it's to tell we say what you know. Our cultural expression, they have a work on us, you know, white people control us. And children have no white people on us, the things that no white people control. They have something named mental slavery. This bossy slave around the place. Them perpetuate the white man ideas. Like the constitution where we have. Busta and Manly. The father me I talk about now. Them go to England and take this and bring come along here so we come govern the people. Them now we get mixed up and confused because we are trying to have republic. And then we don't know where to take out and where to put in and where to take out and where to put in. It's a madness. So we give thanks. Say, the youth, them can't go to school now. With them locks. So we don't know how them little Christian-minded female teachers who feel say everything centered around. And they must stop forcing the people them for go a devotion a man in time to. Because suppose your mother are Muslim. Suppose your mother and your father are Muslim. Why you have to sit down, stand up, and I pray to a Christian God? When your mother is a Muslim and your father is a Muslim, or them is Baha'i or whatsoever, Rasta or whatsoever, why do you have to stand up and antagonize themselves and be forced to do it? And if you say you're not going into the devotion, they want to penalize you. Can you imagine that? They want to penalize you because you say you're not going to no, you're not going to them, no, 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 no man in devotion because. You're not a Christian. He's not a Christian. Them pure Christianity with the politics. That's why it's such a, a, it's such a gangsterism in a Jamaica with it. The politician have promised you good living when you're alive, and the preacher have promised you good living when you're dead. That's why everybody pray, 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 pray. Meanwhile, them are pray and I close them eyes. The politician had to rob them. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen now. We're gonna see what's gonna happen now. Who are gonna take the initiative now to say, I don't care where the government wants to say, I film school this. It's a Roman Catholic school this. It's a Jehovah Witness school this. Government have nothing to do with it, eh? I want to say you can't go a court with a Bible. And I show the, 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 the judge the Bible for prove your innocence or for prove say you're guilty or something. You can't go quote in the Bible. So I just say it there. The thing where we really want to mention in another middle of that is the, the government again. The government. The government, I watch GPS and suck the blood of the sufferers. And then they make GPS after people are teeth electricity. The people them are teeth electricity. And them know that the people them are teeth electricity. And you who appear your light bill, after stand the cast of the man who had teeth electricity, where, you know, which country you ever hear that? Where you ever hear that on earth? That a man have robbed somebody over there, so. And then you, I hold the law and appear your, your, your way. And the man who get robbed, I tell you, say, watch out. Know, why the man thief, who buys a thief, three of me plant them, you know, three bunch of plant, you know. And me never sell the plant them for, for $1,000. So you know, I'm going to charge you over here, so. For the plant them with the man thief from me over there, so. What kind of madness is that? What kind of madness is that? A man a thief your light, thief your electricity. And me who are pay my light bill must pay for the man, the man, the man who rob you. Where you want me to know? Go over there and go cuss him, make him chop me up. Or shoot me. And your responsibility that. Me must check out my hard earned money now for pay for your next man light. Because you're afraid of them, because you don't know if you do. And then the government accept that as legitimate. The government accept those things as legitimate. Them is thief. Because I hear that card to where you say 20,000 
plus infringement against the, the, the against the people them where, where the GPS have much more infringement against the people them than last year I can't wait the reporter say I saw yes so the people them I feel it under this light bill structure I feel it my daughter sit on a talk Saturday and she asked me how oh, that possible how oh, your light bill double <laughs> I should have, I should never bring not should never ever bring a flashlight that the house would need to charge the battery. Oh, the hell, if your light bill gone up. Oh, is it that y'all gone a foreign for all two weeks? And you, you come back, your light bill at the same as if you did there the whole month. Can somebody explain that to me? Oh, people light will jump up more when them not there them yard. <laughs> people light will jump up more when them there them, when them not there them yard. So we tell us go and burn it and say conserve electricity. Turn off your this, turn off your that. And when you turn it off, your light will see them here. You know, we tell us go and make it burn. Because I don't see no difference. Me personally don't see no difference. I turn off my light them every time and I use me turn this, me turn that. You know, they are this, that, that. I mean, I say, I can't serve electricity. I will, my light bill come and say, money can't pan it. I had the same. And the government recognize the scamming we are going, but through them is part of the JPS thiefing system. Them not going to do nothing because last year them said the same thing. And now this year it's worse. And them not doing going to do nothing for the customers. This government is not responsible for the people and the well-being of the people. We are being, we are, we are, we are going, them going to treat you like yo-yo. Yo-yo. Because the GPS have more infringement this year than last year. And it's 20,000 them, them have. Maybe all more too. If it's 20,000 plus last year and come 20,000 plus plus this year, and the government involved in it, that means that the, gov the government can get money out of that. Extortion. Them extor is an extortion taking place. But a man, a man cross the road there. Not even a man, a community. A community cross the road, a thief peep, a thief light. And you can't do nothing about it. All you do now is just say, all right, 10 people over there saw a thief light, five people over there saw a peer light. We could divide up 10 into five. <laughs> and they come out of that, and we're going to make them pay that, the five. What kind of madness is that? You know, this is a robbery. Robbery with aggravation, aggravation. That is what you call it. Robbery with aggravation. But them not going to stop, you know. Them not going to stop. Because the people, them not going like the youth, them in Kenya. Them not going to stop. It's a terrible thing. Terrible thing when government is allowed to do these things. And sell you. A six or nine and get away with it. I have the people them like Donald Trump. We have a baby Trump on us so. Because Donald Trump talks some things. I don't know what kind of people them. I don't know what kind of people them is follow. What, what, I mean, I see them, you know, I see the people them who are following, you know. And I say, where them get this thinking from? How them can listen to a man and attack some pure lie? I hear when them tell the thing, you know. Him hear, you hear when them tell the lie. And him come back round and go and like say, your ears are your eye. Don't, don't watch where you hear. Don't, don't, don't watch where you see. And don't listen to where you hear. Even though I didn't say it, but I'm going to not, I'm going to, I'm going to say, it's not a lie. And it's that them have where they are so too. 
Good idea. Last, I think last week I read something them I say, where well, them name they say them have six yard shelter all over the island, and then some when some would have come say them have more than nine hundred shelter. I talk to um CNN, and then the, the prime minister talk to um Al Jazeera. I say we have over one one thousand as shelter. Three men from the same party I talk the same thing about the same thing. And the child them give you three different answers. I mean, I talk about something with somebody right. Them I talk to Al Jazeera. I think one of them are some when them I talk to um CNN and the other one I talk to to TVG. Yes, TVG. I mean, I say all oh, the child them in a the government, and I tell you, that means you can't, you can't trust these people. You can't trust these people. You cannot trust them. And when you look at where you go in America, you see, you can't trust politicians. You can't trust them. All Joe Biden says, say, boy, right now, I'm not going to make it for four years. He must say, I'm African, because he thinks, he really thinks, he can't look good before the four years done. All he must do, you know, it's just say, all right. Make somebody take over and then them just sit down and just monitor that somebody there and make them make it make it's like a proxy thing. It can't be a proxy thing. You know, the Kamala, a Kamala Shivim. Yes. Indian and, and Jamaican, maybe all that. <laughs> and that they're free that too. Because she got to that President of America is another Alabalo that. We go and come forward, take a break and come forward. No, it look like Biden. I go, res- I go say, all right, find somebody else. Based of how far we are going, you know, based of how far the, the people them from the Democratic Party who are calling up and I say, look, here, man, you can't win. So we could get somebody else. And I, I think him have Kamala in him head. Yeah, but you know them where the pride and thing we make him no one give up. But why look how we are? But the, the, the brother, you know, the brother will shoot. Well, them claim to so them shoot him, but I can't tell them. I say no. It's not the bullet actually lick him. It's, it's the glass in front of him splint up and fly upon him ears. But isn't it ironical that? The youth family is Republican. Yeah, the youth family is Republican. I don't understand all these things, but and I can't to the report now, even coming out of England. They must say the youth did a mark Biden too. I don't know much I want to hear that one there. They must say the youth did a, did a mark Biden and a mark from but the reason why Trump get licked first is because in the yard where him live, they near to the place where Biden got where, where Trump attack. And him him him, him right on him, him him social media say to the deal it's going to be the premier of what him going to do. In other words, this is the this is the the launch of what him going to do. Because my father is a gunman and my father is a gun that I have. So him, him, I don't know. I don't know what. You see, you can't know now because they kill him. Which is another terrible thing to that they will kill him. The only man who can tell you why and when, where and how. They kill him. So it makes you wonder now if the man them who shoot him didn't leave with somebody. It's a weird place, a place in America. And then people are telling you about what a thing happened in America. America is known to kill them leaders, assassinate them leaders. Check the history. Abraham Lincoln come right up him. All them shoot after Reagan. And all the way, them shoot Martin Luther King. <clears throat> them shoot John F. Kennedy. Them people are going like, say, boy, it's the worst thing ever happened in America. It's not the worst thing ever happened in America. They have been known to assassinate people. But the weirdest thing is that 20-year-old youth. 
and them say the 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 the, 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 the FBI man them did have him in a in a them scope. A very long time, so you wonder what is happening. Why why them still on up there and watch the youth on the old stuff and never do nothing until him fire a shot and kill somebody. And now Donald Trump have something else for him. Like him, him make some boots. <laughs> that was not easy, you know, that's that. I will I will come Saturday, today our Thursday. The man have some shoes that sell, like the golden one where he didn't make, you know. Where he didn't make some gold one, you know. Where my, it's like he might try to appeal to, to black people with the gold one. The man make some now with fight, 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 pan the, in picture, pan the shoes them, and my fight, fight, fight. And he might sell them for, what, how much? Thousand dollars. Two hundred no, ninety-nine dollars, something like that. Me remember, yeah, must two hundred ninety-nine. Them say mongrel have five thousand. Say we can come get them quick. <laughs> yeah, it's a we are telling that brother they're not easy. That brother do easy man. And you know say the the lick where the the, the the attempted assassination make him sign and get in you know, himself more. Yeah, hear my talk. I'm kind of getting himself more now because, trust me, after a man get attempted assassination, you know, he must have a retrospective mind, mind you know, where I say, no, something funny, why? Why? And, and, and is, a, and is a, a Republican do it? Why a Republican that want to shoot Donald Trump? And we hear the brother William Alex Jones that chat damn foolishness. Say, boy, it's a, it's, it's, it, and him is a man with Donald Trump. Him is a Donald Trump man. He must say, boy, it would be good if them didn't really shoot him because they're not going to start with them and expect to happen in America. The whole uprising in America, they would have to start. Some people think that we're there in America too. Them want bad things happen to overturn all the things that we are going on in America, including themselves. It's a weird thing, boy, but we're going to see go on, you know. Anyway, we're going to the music news time. Music news, music news. You know, I say, I need to answer the phone, though. I, I, I tell right. you, you know, Shamara, Shamara was just filling in for me, but in, she can't manage the rum thing, so she leave it to me. All right, sir, all right, sir. <laughs> So the real stuff right, yes, now. The real stuff Yeah, well, we are here. Yes, at um the Montego Bay Stadium at Catherine Hall, and we are here for 2024 version of the Appleton Estate Jamaica Rum Festival. And not because we say Appleton, Appleton alone here. You know, I mean, you have all kind of rum, all kind of partners um here at this rum festival showcasing. True Jamaican rum, and I tell you, you have rum in all different flavor. Um, rum mixed with all kind of different things. Me have a rum mixed with all minty. Me I tell you, um, it, it, it's here, it, it's here. If you, if you are not even a rum lover, if you want to know the versatility of rum, well, then again, if you grew up in a country like I did, we are rum in a carrot juice, rum in a sour sap juice, rum in all cow food, um, 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 cow skin blend and, and met juice, rum in everything. So, you know, but if you want to experience rum in just about almost everything, including mint tea, this is the place you need to be. And trust me, you don't have that much money. You know, you see, from you come in, you get a chance to sample everything. And I'm not telling you, so you can't just sample all the whole girl and the rum. You just, but it's just that you're going to get a lick, lick in a cup. But nobody not tell you no. So every time you pass a sample, if you want to stand up and just go and sample, 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 as long as it's a small cup, you, 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 you're good. But right now I'm being joined by Tamika West, and she's the marketing manager for Ready Park Estate Rum. And of course, if anybody here about Rum Bar Rum, you know it's a Ready Park. Um, Tamika, welcome to the areas of IRFM again. I cannot manage it, Mr. Evans. I cannot manage it. Ah, uh, all right. No? Yes, I'm here. Right, yeah, I hear it as well. I cannot manage it, but Roman Minty, I think you're talking mm-hmm. about a mojito, but I'll leave it right here. So. You see, because I don't know the, 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 
the scientific names and, and all of that. I just I just put it with what I see. I see a jar with mint and rum in it, and I know it says minty. That okay, sir. See, that's exactly why we have events like these for you to come and learn the correct terminologies for the cocktails, and you can learn some more about how these wonderful rums that we love are made. So. This is the place to be right now. Definitely the place to be. And of course, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a nice vibe. I mean, it's, the, the, the park is nicely decorated. I mean, it's nicely laid out. And you don't only get rum, you know, because, I mean, I saw other brands here giving away food and selling food and all kind of things. So it's really, I can't tell you it's a family event because you must be eating and over. That's so, right. I mean, if your family member... Our members are under 18, then it's not theirs. You see, if all your family members are 18 and older, like my family, with the youngest one being 19, this is the place to be. That's right. All right. So, Tamika, tell us about um, Worthy Park's involvement in, in this event. Well, Worthy Park is also proud to have been invited to return to the Jamaica Rum Festival. This is our fourth consecutive year partnering with the festival um, organizers. And as I mentioned, we're very, very happy to be here. Um, not only are we here to help support and represent the full display of Jamaican rum uh, across all the different rum purveyors, but us as Worthy Park is happy to return as the 2023 official International Wines and Spirits Rum Producers of the Year, because I tell you, Nicholas, we've been doing amazing things. Our portfolio is on full show here today at the Rum Festival. So from our Rum Bar Rum that you mentioned, we have our Rum Bar Rum Cream. And on the Worthy Park side, you know, that's doing so well, we have our Worthy Park Select, our Overproof, our 109, our Reserve, and our fabulous Rum Creams all on show today for persons to try. If they haven't tried it before, and if you love it, just come and have another drink. No, I, no, 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 I see why you were not... Uh, my normal um, sponsor for my 2023 Christmas parties because you're now at 109. You passed 107. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, it's okay. I, I, we can dial back and, and uh, yeah, come back I want to, to Don't it's you a worry. Good thing, it's a good thing. No competitor is, is, is down that end because we hired on the rest at 107. That's right. So, but um, you, you, you need to kind of step back. I mean, because we, we must say we did enjoy. Um, me and a bad man, but me like stick up. <laughs> we did enjoy our partnership annually, you know, we're, we're, we're Rumba, Ready Park, Power, our, our events, especially our Christmas party and our boys yes, party and yes. all of that. And we're always I don't, I don't, happy to partner with COVID Irene. wasn't last year, so I don't know what happened last year because we, you were there in COVID too. But I mean, you were there last year, but I, I, I am welcoming you back this year. I'm and alive. I so Jamaica and all the artists who normally come to the boys party know that Rumba <laughs> will be power in the party again. And I, a good way to ask you, um, I understand you have expanded your, your portfolio. Can you tell us about some of the, the, the new things that um, Rumba are having in um, the things you have in your arsenal right now? So as I mentioned to you, you know, it's everyone knows and loves the Rumbar brand. You know, it's, it is that brand for the grassroots, for the everyday Jamaican. We love it. It's a part of our lifestyle, a part of our culture. But, you know, our brands have expanded. Our, our, our offerings have expanded. The type of rum that we make has also expanded. And we now have a brand that is, you know, really taken off locally, which is the Worthy Park Select. Now, that is an age rum. I know that one. You know, it's, yeah, but you're supposed to know it because you're, you know, you can probably be a part of my team helping at Booth. I right used now. the last one from 2022 about um three months ago. See that? So that, and that means I'm going to give you too much rum then if you have No, you never on. give me too much rum. We just never drink enough. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to have to fix that for 2024 at your, at, 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 your, at your event this year. But no, we really do have, you know, have expanded our portfolio. So not only through this, the Worthy Park Select brand, but also we have since then added other brands or other products under the Worthy Park name. So as I mentioned, we just recently launched our Worthy Park Overproof. This brand is unique as an overproof rum because while it is 63% alcohol, like all the other rums out there, what this is made with is there's cane juice distillate in there. Now, anybody who knows much about rum making... Rum is, the, is taking molasses, you add water, you add yeast, it ferments and you distill it and it gives you whatever rum flavor that you can put in a barrel or you can bottle it. However, this Worthy Park Overproof that we have actually has actual cane juice. So, you know, when you push the cane through the juice up yeah. and you take that juiced cane and you sprinkle some yeast in it, allow it to ferment and then you distill that. Now, what that does, when you combine it with a molasses distillate, the cane juice, because cane juice are light, 
it makes the liquid overall lighter. So it makes it smoother. You taste even more of that sweet undertone when you're drinking it either with some water, you're drinking it neat, or you're drinking it with your favorite chaser. So that is, you know, one of the additions that are doing very well. And also we have on show here today. We also have the Worthy Park 109. I'm going to jump over 107. I'm going to jump over 107. You did not say anything from a long time. All right. We, we, so we, we jump that. over to 109. And that is actually a, a really high alcohol age drum. Normally, I think age drum may go up to a certain percentage, 40%. But this is actually 54.5%. There's nothing like it in Jamaica. There's nothing like it in the Caribbean. There's nothing like it in this hemisphere. So if you go into the supermarket or into your party and you say Worthy Park 109 and you can't handle strong drinks, but you like smooth flavors and aged rums, this is a brand to try. So, you know, we have quite a bit and we keep adding. Also on show, I just want to say this last thing, also on show is that we've even expanded into tonic wines. We've entered the tonic wine market with a tonic liqueur called Backbone. I know your, 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 your listeners have it rotating on radio right now, so they might hear it on Irie. But this product is a tonic liqueur. So if you're, if you're not thinking about ginseng, and you know what molasses do for the body, and you know what ginger does, think about all of them combined in a, in, in a bottle, in a glass. That is what backbone is. A combination of ginseng, molasses, ginger, and some flavors, some, you know, some nice warm flavors coming together in a glass. That is backbone. So, you know, we really are... We're stretching ourselves, but in a positive way. And we've had just an amazing response to the consumers. So again, we're very proud to be here at Rum Festival today to just showcase some of that for all of the fans that are witnessing the brands for the first time or they're back to try it again. All right. As we as we, as we we observe the, the, the time, I just want to ask, I mean, off here, you did mention something about a new rum cream. Yes. So we have, so we have everybody knows rum bar rum cream, but we have also have the Worthy Park rum cream. So that what separates that from rum bar is that rum bar is made with unaged rum, so white white rum, but in a low alcohol content. But then the Worthy Park rum, um, rum cream is made with aged rum. So if you taste it compared to tasting rum bar, you're tasting a difference in the flavor profile. It's smoother. It's just mellow. It's more supple. Even though the rum bar, you know, is also... Yeah, I, I wish you did Irish still, but... <laughs> but yeah, so there are many different things, that, you know, the, the fans here today that um, can, can enjoy. Um, or even if you're out at a party, at an event, you know, in the stores and you witness the brands, it's an opportunity to try. All right. And and with that said, um, um, this interview, I've just approved a 25% raise for you. Nobody could have sold it. Um, oh, um, um, I'm okay. so well. All right. Um, there you have it. As we get the signal that we're out of time, um, Tamika West, and she's the marketing manager of Rurley Park. And trust me. I like it when marketing managers sell their products as well as Tamika does. And of course, I know me and she and everybody will be tasting some of those rums that we, we, we party. Not because we are rummets, but I mean, never, we do never. want Always to taste all of what you've been talking about. Always so, responsible. we'll link again. Don't know when Shamar will have to tell me. But until then, Mota, back to you in studio. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was... <laughs> hey, my granny used to sap her foot with rum, you know. I don't know if anybody knows what that we're And I'm back. And when you have, uh, when you have flu and all them something, eh, them give you to smell rum. <laughs> Never drink it yet. She used to, she drink brandy. Granny drink brandy. She said, no, I have to go buy brandy. Up at Dicky shop in a Jonestown. Okay. We're standing by for the catch part. Meanwhile, we we'll take this. Congratulations to all of today's winners. Join us again at 8.25 p.m. for another chance to win the top draw dollars. Pick two, pick three, pick four, hot pick, and catch part draws. Today was a very eventful day. <laughs> uh, it's not, today was a very eventful day. Yes, oh, you know, so we still have a last link here. So we're going we to go back to Nick again, you know. Hey, Nick. Another last one. Eh? Yeah, Nick. Nick? Nick drunk. Hello, you're Nick at all. Oh. oh. Nick. I'm going to I can see if I can go and play a tune until we get it. Him, a scoop of Jamaica. Yes. Nice to have a 
female engineer at IRFM. Yes. Yes, my people. Big up on yourself, you know. Yeah, man, just go on. Give thanks. Yeah, so we got her again. You know the thing go. Stepping razor style. You understand? Yeah, man. Big up on yourself once more. You understand, people? Yeah, man. Catching you in our next one. Up and running. Like the sun up and burning. <laughs>